This week we're looking at a re-edit of an old video I did many years ago on this Sierra Cosworth, which is a soft dent right on the body line. But equally as challenging, I'm going to show you how I repaired and tidied up this previous substandard PDR repair done by someone else. So keep watching and I'll explain all the steps it took me to repair this from start to finish. Hi everyone, it's Jake from First Light Dents and welcome back for another Paintless Dent Removal video. Today I'm revisiting an old repair I did on this Ford Sierra Cosworth which was around four to five years ago. Anyway, it was up on my old YouTube channel and got filed away when I created this new channel. Interestingly though, the customer is the owner of the yellow full puma I did last year and he was always asking me when I was going to re-edit this one and put it back up. So Clark, I've finally done it. Now, if you remember when I repaired the yellow four puma, I almost got completely soaked as it hammered down with torrential rain. So if you wanna laugh at me in that video, you can always click the link up here in the top right hand corner. Well, I remember when I turned up in the morning to do this job, it also hammered down with torrential rain. So we had to postpone and book for another day. And then when I did come around to film this job, typically it was bright, intense sunshine, which also made it difficult to do because of the harsh light. Actually, I'm glad I put this one back up as it shows me correcting a previous bad PDR repair which was also on the same front panel. So I'll show you how I managed to tackle that during this video. But before we get into the video, let's take a closer look in detail at all the damage that needs to be repaired. So looking at the complete panel here, there are two main areas to deal with, section A and section B. Now section A is the main den that I'm here to remove today and that measures approximately 360 millimeters by 240 millimeters. Section B is a substandard PDR repair that was already there when the customer purchased this vehicle and I've promised to tidy that up as much as possible. That repair measures approximately 120 millimeters by 100 millimeters. Right, going back to both these repair sections, let's first look at section A. From this angle, under the LED fog light, you can see that we're dealing with a soft dent that has pushed a body line in probably around 15 millimeters. And if you look closely, we have a high ridge quite visible over the top of the dent just here. And if we look at the view from the other side, you can see it clearly here. This is where the metal has been forced upwards from the impact. Now also at the front of this panel, there is another high ridge just here, almost over the center of the panel on the wheel arch section. It's a little bit difficult to see, but you may just be able to pick it up. Right, now let's look at section B, the previous PDR repair that was on this vehicle. Initially, the customer didn't ask me to repair this as he thought it was some type of corrosion. But on closer inspection, it was easy to see that it was a previous bad PDR repair, where possibly an inexperienced PDR tech or dent DIYer had used too sharp a tool to try and push this out, which left a mangled mess of high spots. If you look closely here, you can still see that there's a little pit in the middle of this repair, so that will need to be pushed up too. I told my customer that I'd tidy this up the best I can, although I couldn't guarantee how well it would come out, but I said it should look a whole lot better. Okay, so that's what I'm dealing with, so time now to get on with the repair. The first section I'm going to work on here is section A, the main deck. So I need to warm up the area to soften the paint slightly so that the paint doesn't crack. Then I'm using my screw on tip bar with a large rubber tip. Placing this under the panel and getting some good leverage off the tire, I'm able to push horizontally across the width of the dent, almost bringing up the entire body line in one pass. Now the low is pushed up, I'm able to use my soft tip on my hammer to attack the high ridge over the main dent. I'm able to bring this metal down back into the low section below it. I'm still using my screw on tip bar, although now I've switched the tip to my standard rubber tip. Now I'm warming up the paint again. Then I'm going to lift up the remaining smaller, low areas that the large rubber tip left behind. Now I'm going to tap down this high ridged area sitting over the middle of the panel, which I showed you in my analysis earlier, which is situated right here. First I'm using my large rubber tip on my tap down to get the bulk of the ridge down. And then I'm switching over to my standard rubber tip to remove the remaining part of the high ridge. This takes a lot of time and patience as I don't want to be making any low spots in the panel as that will add time on to the end of the repair. And there we go, the high ridge is gone. To bring up some of the micro lows, I'm using my plastic vinyl tip. 
Using this bar with the tip under the panel, I'm able to get right behind these small low areas and push them up one by one. You may just be able to see the movement in the middle of the screen on the body line. Using my tap down tool from Edgy Tools with a plastic bullet tip, I'm able to remove any high areas created from the pushing behind. Then using my screw on tip bar with my plastic vinyl tip, I'm pushing in the area above the body line to remove any micro lows. Then using my tap down tool, I'm also able to tap down any high areas up in this section. Okay, now for the fun bit here in section B. Time to tackle this messy previous PDR repair and see if I can make something good out of it. This shows you how you really need to search for a good PDR tech who knows how to use his tools, as this looks like the result of someone trying to push this original dent up with the incorrect tools or using tool tips that were way too sharp. To be fair, every PDR tech has to start somewhere. Hopefully the PDR tech that did this has now become a great tech who does perfect repairs every time. First of all, I have to tap down the sharp high spots with my tap down. I'm not using anything too sharp as it may crack this already fragile paint. Once these are tapped down, I then warm up the panel and I'm using my sharp plastic bullet tip again. Using this tip, I'm able to get into the sharp low areas and lift them up. It's then a matter of repeating this process of lifting up and tapping down until I can get the panel as level as possible. I'm taking my time with this as the paint has been so stretched over these high spots that it will easily crack if I'm not too careful. So far, so good. Luckily, it looks like I should be able to improve this previous repair massively. I managed to lightly sand some of the sharp high spots on section B, and then I polished the complete panel as there was a little bit of paint transfer in section A. After a final wipe, it's now time to check out the final result. Well, I really hope you enjoyed watching one of my older videos, which was refreshed from my archives. I was really pleased with how the main dent came out. Luckily, it was a soft dent, so it didn't create too much of a problem, although it still took quite a lot of work getting the body line back nice and straight again. The main concern on this one was correcting the previous bad PDR repair at section B, which I found much harder to do than the main body line repair at section A. Luckily, this old repair cleaned up nicely, otherwise it would have let down the overall appearance of the entire panel. So the customer and I were really pleased with how this turned out in the end. As always, if you like the video, it'd be great to get a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, then it'd be great to have you on board. So hit that subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell icon to be notified when a new video is uploaded. Well, that's all for now. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you all on the next video.